frequently during pregnancy, women, they put on 50 or 60 pounds, am I correct? And uh, they, they retain enough water to qualify for federal assistance. Uh, uh, and they grow varicose veins that make their legs look like road maps. Uh, and they pee 80, 90 times a day. I'm telling you, my wife, she peed around the clock uh, or any other appliance that happened to be within her reaching range. It was unbelievable, the incredible degree of pain that she would do. And she would wake up every morning nauseous with morning sickness and retching and gagging. And, and she'd complain, and I'd say, but sweetheart, you're glowing. <laughs> Since I'm, I'm a person, I'm not a light bulb. You glow, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but, but you're glowing. <laughs> I have no, I'll tell you. I'm sensitive. It's not a fair burden. The women carry the, re not all of the responsibility. The men have things to do. In preparation for the baby, uh, the man has to select cigars. <laughs> and this took me minutes, ladies and gentlemen, to kind of find a good cheap cigar. What we do had a girl, my wife wanted to call her Sue, uh, which is a lovely name, but which for Jews is generally a verb. <laughs> I don't mean to offend anyone. It's just an occasional part of our culture. That's all. <laughs> Not that I'm a particularly religious Jew. I'm proud of my faith, but I'm what they call a reform Jew. I don't know. Do we have a, any other reforms amongst us? Yes. Well, then you know we are the liberal end of the Jewish uh, theological spectrum, and uh, uh, we have updated and liberalized ancient Jewish thinking, and our congregation was particularly liberal. Our rabbi was a part-time pork distributor, to give you some idea. Uh, <laughs> Hard to take a rabbi seriously when his skullcap has a propeller attached to it. <laughs> my wife is only half Jewish, and my parents are half pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you, because of my wife's background, she would like Daniel uh, to have some exposure to all of the holidays, Christmas as well as uh, Hanukkah, for example. Uh, well, not that everyone is familiar or can pronounce Hanukkah. Uh, well, when I was in Mobile, Alabama this past holiday season, where Jewish holidays are not fastidiously observed, by the way, somebody actually said to me, Happy Chaka Khan, can you believe this? <laughs> Happy Chaka Khan, I said, a delightful Ozzy and Harriet to you, Billy Bob. Happy Chaka Khan. Mobile, Alabama. Now, I know this is a local uh, 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 show, and I don't mean to cast aspersions on the intellect of an entire city of people, but they have been on a very successful IQ reduction program over the last couple of years. Uh, what can you say about a city whose VD clinic is called Great Balls of Fire? Ladies and gentlemen, this, it's not a citadel of enlightenment. I was swimming one day in the condo pool in Mobile, and one of the local Mobilians <laughs> approached me. I was the only one in the pool. He saw me swimming, so he said, how's the water? I'm a comedian. I made a joke. I said, it's wet. <laughs> to which he said, and I quote, he said, well, I guess it must have been raining. <laughs> Obviously a meteorology major. <laughs> <laughs> 